every person, no matter where they come from, no matter what um, their interests, everybody has potential. And so if you can find that sweet spot for yourself, whether it be university or, you know, doing an apprenticeship or whatever it might look like, just open your eyes to all of those and, and jump on every opportunity that you can get because it could lead to goodness knows what. Hi, my name is Yvonne Hayes. Um, I'm a Learning and Development Business Insights Manager for Adult Shaw Goddard. Very interesting job title. What it actually means is my role is really about helping the L&D team to gain insight from the business and to be the best that we can be at, at business partnering so that when we then do provide that learning and development offer back to the business, it's as, as good as it can be. But also there's a slight nuance to that in that I help our fee earners to work with the insights that they can gain in their sectors, their industries, and um, to be the best that they can be for their clients. And that line that I'm using there, the best that we can can be is actually our strap line for how we develop our people so it's quite a nice one so I've been with Adult Shaw Goddard for just over 18 months I think it's about 20 months something like that and I absolutely love it really nice law firm to work for just filled with generally very nice people you know and it's an interesting one because the legal sector all law firms are slightly different from each other and this is definitely one of the friendlier firms I've I've found. When I first joined Adelshaw Goddard, I was absolutely blown away by how genuinely nice people were, how welcoming they were, um, how authentic they were and inclusive as well. You know, um, as a law firm, I think people are just generally very aware of the fact that inclusivity is really really important um and and so they generally live and breathe that in everything they do and some law firms can be quite formal in their way of doing mm -hmm. things you know really structured and and that's quite natural with the legal industry legal sector but mm -hmm. I'm sure God it doesn't feel like that at all so yeah definitely stands out it's a really interesting one I don't know if you can hear the accent but I'm originally from Australia and I moved here I think it's about 16 or 17 years ago I was in my late 20s at the time so that gives you an idea of how old I am I was going through a bit of a change in my life, actually, uh, you know, just had a, a point where I had an opportunity and I was toying between either moving to Melbourne or moving to London. And I chose London in the end. And here I ended up. But I am um, I grew up in a fairly normal, I say normal, what's normal? There is no normal, a middle of the range, I would say, family with two parents who um, are both from England originally. They're mm -hmm. both teachers. What's really interesting is my two sisters are both now teachers. But yeah, like I say, I had an opportunity to move to the UK and I did. And it's really interesting because if I think back, I um I had a real interest right throughout my my younger years in um in theatre and public speaking and everything that kind of put you at the front of the room, if you like. And I wasn't the most outgoing kid, but I was clever enough and and I quite liked just helping people. So it led me to things like doing theatre arts, you know, acting classes. I did mock trials and debating and everything in that kind of sphere. And then I did go to university, but I think I went to university too quickly. I wasn't quite ready for it. And I didn't end up finishing, actually. But I did study theatre at university and media. Um, so I think all of that gave me a really good grounding and I didn't start out in learning and development. I actually went to work for the Australian government. I was working in the pensions department in a call centre. And what tends to happen in that environment is people who are excelling then become the teachers. And that's what I did. I fell into learning and development um, and I began doing induction programs for new joiners. Mm -hmm. So I was seeing groups of 30 odd people at a time once every quarter coming through and, and helping them to learn the systems. And I just really enjoyed it. So it was, it was interesting because when I then moved to the UK, I thought I'm only going to be here for 12 months. I'll get a job doing anything that plays to my skill set. And I was reasonably confident in my skills, let me say. So I found a job with Marks and Spencer. After working there for a little while, the job came up in learning and development. I jumped on the opportunity and I've never looked back. And, and here I am now. I do have an interest in business coaching. I think it's one of those um, tools that can be incredibly helpful for both people who are the coach 
in terms of giving them insight into what's important to people, but also if you're being coached. Mm -hmm. And I have designed and delivered many, many coaching courses for managers over my career so far. I'm actually part of an internal coaching pool at Adelshaw Goddard as well. Um, So we train our people internally to then coach our people internally, which is really great. But uh, yeah, the training I've been delivering at the moment is all about how we use coaching theory to unlock relationships. So not specifically about coaching, but yes, using coaching theory. So it really does thread through everything we do. Career journeys are not necessarily linear and opportunities lie everywhere. So maximize the opportunities you've got. If I think about it, that the more I move through my career, I'm always talking to people about the importance of networking and your network can unlock opportunities in any which way. So, you know, the job that I had in, in the Australian government when I was younger, I actually found through a, th- a friend, I wouldn't have known that it was even available unless I had that kind of network. And as I've grown throughout my career, I find opportunities all the time through just reaching out or seeing things that people within my network are doing. Mm-hmm. So never be afraid to maximize those opportunities and it doesn't have to come in the shiny package or the linear journey that you expect you know we don't have to necessarily go to university although let me tell you it does make life easier but actually there are so many different ways and journeys and and paths into things Mm -hmm. just think about the one that would work to you and your skill set because the one thing I fundamentally believe is that every person no matter where they come from no matter what um, their interests everybody has potential and so if you can find that sweet spot for yourself whether it be university or you know doing an apprenticeship or whatever it might look like just open your eyes to all of those and, and jump on every opportunity that you can get because it could lead to goodness knows what. Mm -hmm. And just that little bit of human interaction and connection makes all the difference. So um, there's a phrase that we sometimes say in in Adelshaw Goddard, which is you've got to plant lots of seeds and you might only have one of them grow, but if it grows to something that's really valuable and really um, comes to fruition, then it's been worth it. So plant all your seeds and and see what happens. (laughs) 